Hey guys, Phil Smy here, Zonmaster.com, here to give you a little bit of straight talk about being a tech entrepreneur and starting your own small tech entrepreneur company. You know, it makes me a little mad looking around YouTube and other places on the internet that when we talk about tech startups, all we hear about are the unicorns, you know, and by unicorns, you know who I mean, the Facebooks, the Amazons, the Airbnbs, the Twitters, those kinds of companies, companies that got hundreds of millions of dollars of seed investment, hundreds of millions of dollars of responsibility to those investors, IPOs and all the rest of it. That's nice, and maybe maybe that would be okay to pursue that. But the reality is, if you shoot that high, the vast, vast, vast majority, 97% or something like that, or more, are going to crash and burn with no profit and perhaps debt. So this channel, I guess, is talking about doing the thing that I did, which is bootstrapping startups. And these are startups that they make good money, you know, seven eight figures let's say out of a company but you know uh, I took a different path I didn't want to shoot for that unicorn status what I wanted to shoot for was a lifestyle you know I wanted to live in a certain kind of way and that's what I've achieved and that's what I'm here to talk about on this channel how can we go about doing a tech startup like that you know, I've gone both ways. I have had companies that were high profile, high investors, and smaller companies. And the smaller companies, you are always in much more control, are always in much more control. And the best uh, approach for me is to have a tech replacement for a manual process or tech improvement or a tech automation on an already technological uh, solution. So you want to provide something that's better. You want to provide something that doesn't depend on having more employees to scale. This is so vital. You know, uh, you could argue that Amazon needs more employees the bigger it gets, but we're not talking about unicorns here. You know, in my company, uh, in Zonmaster, let's say, we'll talk about that, which is the, the biggest one right now that I've got going. We have, uh, we provide autoresponder tools and other analysis and customer relationship management tools for people who sell on Amazon. Now with Zonmaster, we've had about 20,000 Amazon sellers sign up and we have not had to have a vast influx of employees to support those 20,000 people instead or 20,000 whatever subscribers. Instead, what we did focused on tech that automated as many things as possible. As soon as we saw something that we were spending a lot of time on, we automated it in some way or another. And our solution also was an automation solution, you know, but it was on both sides of the coin. I'm not here so much to talk today, at least, about the solution we provided, but it's how we provided that solution. Because I think how we provided that solution is the path that you should be focusing on. So... The more people we got in, we uh, as customers, we did not need to add more people. The bigger we grew, we needed to add more technology, we needed to add more servers and things like this, but the people to manage those didn't change. We added a little bit of customer support, but also when the more customer support we did, you know, the more FAQs we built up, the more autobots to answer questions we built up. We didn't want to have to have tons of employees to get this thing working. And, you know, it's... The reason this solution works for me is that you are still in your, you know, in control. I've never had an investor in Zonmaster. And I, apart from the company that went on to Shark Tank, I don't think I've ever really had big investors. The first company maybe had some investment as well. Because, as I said in another video, what do you need investment for? Be very, very careful about uh, getting investment in. So maybe there's other channels out there 
to talk about being a tech startup and they focus on the investors and why you should be getting them and what and all the rest of this stuff. Maybe I'm the anti version of that and maybe this channel is doomed to failure because of it. But I'm here to tell you that you do not need to have investors to build a tech startup that makes between one million and twenty million dollars. You know, that's the bottom line. Uh, what you need to do is focus on your solution, focus on your customers and forget about that side of it. Of course, you need the legal things, you need to have an accountant and you need to have the incorporation and all the rest of that stuff. But focus on the solution and bootstrapping because you don't want to get into a situation where an investor comes in and says, you know what, guys, it's been five years. I, I want to get my money out and you're not growing at the rate I want you to grow. So let's just liquidate. And that happens. Trust me, it happens a lot. Is this video rambling? Is this video of any help? I don't know. But I'd like to hear from you. You know, uh, I'd like to build up a small community of entrepreneurs, tech entrepreneurs, if possible, to talk about the reality of starting a small tech business, a tech business that provides a solution. So if you're out there, like, subscribe, comment, do all that other stuff, and we'll see you next time.